Why don't we paint our nut sacks cool decorations? Uh, hmm. What do you mean, why don't we? What's stopping you? I don't own paint. That is a rather hard <laughs> resource to acquire. <laughs> if only there was a depot for home that had such items. <laughs> <laughs> Depot, um. <laughs> Mr. Talking Home Depot tones. himself in the 1700s. He's decided right there. <laughs> the men who built he, America. He wanted to paint his balls, but he just could not. <laughs> if only there was a depot for home. All right, guys, this video is sponsored by the greatest PC and mobile game. You already know what it is. It's Raid Shadow Legends. There's so much content that's in Raid that you'd need to wish for immortal life from Shinron just to experience all of it. PvP, bossing, raids, dungeons, hundreds of champions to level. One of the hardest challenges, though, in Raid is the Hydra boss because each head has different mechanics, like the head of Blight. Kind of like what you'd receive from the homeless guy behind a CVS. This head is nasty. It poisons your team, leeches them, and it can create a poisonous fart cloud that makes it hard for your team to land any attacks. I think poisons are the most annoying debuffs in any video game ever at any point ever at any moment. So I'd take this guy out first. Luckily, the head's weak to fire. There's also the head of Wrath. Bro's really angry. After you hit him 15 times, the head of Wrath gives itself vengeance, which is this buff that triples its attack power until the end of next turn. Then it can just one-shot you. So it's best to use champions that hit hard, but only once for this head, so you can take care of it. And there's farther heads with their own mechanics that kind of force you to plan out who you want to bring into the fight ahead of time. Also, if you're new player, you can get one of the best epic champions that's in the game right now, Stagnite, and a skin form that was designed by Jontron. All you gotta do is just use promo code JTSKIN before October 7th. And if you're already a raid enjoyer, you can still get the Stagnite skin through an in-game event. They also recently added Hydra Clash, which is a new clan boss competition where you and four other clans uh, see who can dookie on the Hydra boss the hardest. So yeah, with all this content that's coming into raid right now, it's a good time to try it for yourself. Use my link that I got in the description, or you can scan the QR code that's on screen. And new players, you're gonna get a free starter pack with all this loot and if you want to get embarrassed and have your turds pushed in, feel free to add me and maybe we could play some matches. Who wouldn't want head from a slug? Uh, raise uh, his hand, both hands. <laughs> raise his feet, both feet. <laughs> all, all appendages in the air. Racist butt. My butt said the N word last night. <laughs> While I was sleeping. <laughs> you have like one of those farting apps where it like tracks every time you fart from <laughs> sleep, it just... Just a loud <laughs> N-word bass boosted <laughs> fart. My sleeping app recorded me reciting all of Minecraft at 3 a.m. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, I talk in my sleep a little bit. I sleep Nazi. <laughs> I sleep Nazi. I, I sleep Nazi. Imagine telling that to your like Tinder date after you hook up. It's like, yeah, if you hear me talking to my sleep, I like, I like, you know, it's not a big deal. You're gonna hear a little bit of loud German around 2:49 a.m. Sometimes I get up and start marching. That's fine. Just leave me alone. A little salute here and there. Just let me go back. I to bed. might Don't try and up. shave your head and give you a tattoo at like 3:50. Yeah, I don't know. What are you supposed to do? Let them sleep or let them walk? I think you set up tripping devices around the house. Yeah, yeah like, like, I like to just sleep. I like to put a lot of rakes from the yard on the ground so they step on it. Looney Tunes hit himself in the face. <laughs> what is the screen? Oh. What the fuck is this? That's me being cool. POV, you're in Yummy's shit. crusty cum sock. <laughs> <laughs> and I've come to eat you. <laughs> well, you should be making dwarves make us cool hammers and shit. I don't know why we stopped doing that. Honestly, I agree. <laughs> when did I'll we, get on when it. Did we evolve away if from If your inner circle isn't discussing rock formations and <laughs> hammer crafting, get new friends. <laughs> Get new friends. <laughs> yeah. If your inner circle doesn't live inside of a dying sun and forge hammers and stuff, <laughs> you're not living. If your inner circle doesn't have beards from your neck down to your feet, so three inches, <laughs> get new friends. <laughs> if your inner circle <laughs> isn't retarded, get new friends. <laughs> if they're not petting bunnies too hard and drinking milk. Mook. <laughs> if your inner circle isn't Mook. twisting the head off of dragonflies, <laughs> get a new circle. I feel like only people who are really pale have said that sentence. Twisting the heads <laughs> off of dragonflies? Yeah. I feel like that's like really pale people activities. How'd you hear about our society, Blark? <laughs> who told you? <laughs> Twisting the head off of dragonflies. <laughs> dragonflies are so hard to catch, I feel like you have to really work your ass off. You get like to, one to every six months. <laughs> That's a lot of fucking dedication. <laughs> I've been spotted. Okay, Optimus, sorry to hear that. <laughs> Me when I see Satan in my basement? <laughs> Me after I buy a really cute polka dot sweater. <laughs> okay. That's Me after bro. I'm an Indian and I do the religion thing. After okay. you're an Indian? <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm no longer Indian. <laughs> you just accidentally stumble upon a rain dance. What is this red thing? That's my dad. Do Dude, after he becomes Indian. <laughs> <laughs> Fortnite son or skinless daughter? Skinless. <laughs> Do you mean like you mean like her Fortnite profile is broke as hell? No, or she, she has just lacks skin. <laughs> I could go on Oprah and like teach her how to play banjo or something. Son who walks like a crab or daughter who eats like a dog. Oh. Uh, son crab. who walks like a crab because I could put him on Oprah and teach him how to <laughs> play the banjo. <laughs> for <a> shrimp. <laughs> Are you really the parent of a disabled child unless you try and profit off of them? <laughs> or make a TikTok in front of their lifeless corpse? God put them here for me to make money off them. <laughs> Oh man. Every parent with a TikTok ever. God gave me my disabled son so I can renegade in front of him in the bed. Dear God, I'm sorry for these jokes, but only after I upload them and monetize them to their full potential. <laughs> <laughs> only after And also I'm masses. only sorry uh, if I get in trouble with them. Remind me to apologize in like a week and a half from now. <laughs> God, I will only apologize if I have to in order to save my career, God, please, and thank you. <laughs> this is a manual like reviewed video. Of like <laughs> 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 all the manual reviewed videos I've had, this is one of them. This video is going to get reviewed by Emmanuel. Let's hope Emmanuel is not a Down Syndrome gay Mexican, because we've had a lot of that. <laughs> nah, YouTube doesn't hire those. <laughs> That's too much of a diversity. I can't say that! <laughs> I gotta Walmart stop myself. I gotta stop myself. <laughs> For teaching me how to be the best at the game. Don't give me a wicked wristy, son. Indian burn <sighs> my shaft, kid. I mean- oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Wrong word! <laughs> Take so, that out of context. Oh, Indian oh, burn dude. my Wrong shaft. Word. <laughs> I didn't mean the. I mean like we ain't never done like, that in my tribe. That ain't never like, happened once. I mean, like, buddy, not like. You not sounded a like dog. a I fucking to... high school coach when you said that. That didn't help. At Drop all. and give me 20 and Indian burns on my shaft. <laughs> <laughs> nice touchdown, Johnny. Now give me an Indian shaft. Burn. In the end zone now. Touch me down there. <laughs> in the end zone. Dude, I, I meant like, uh, I was trying to. That was like the worst shit talk ever. Like, I feel like a bully. Like Tom just, Brady has said that. That was supposed to be shit talk. Yeah, I, I, I thought you were coming on to me. <laughs> Erode the skin of my dick with your hands. I get really confused. How much money would y'all get paid to do the Jordan logo in the back of your head? Several. Several. All right. Uh, at least who, who just who just <laughs> drove off after saying that? <laughs> like you just asked a group of kids on the street and drove away <laughs> on a motorcycle. <laughs> Don't even wait for the answer. How much would you pay to get Jordan in your head? Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard a car drive through anyone's mic. That's so weird. That's so right weird. in. That's so the weirdest fucking thing. <laughs> What's going on, my Jews? Oh. <laughs> Editor, make your that juice. Intro. You own them or what? Howdy, Blargs. Welcome back to Yummy. I'm the dude. Brought to you by McNasty. <laughs> Whose video is this? <laughs> I don't know who I'm watching. What's going on, Mr. Beast fuckers? I think mean, we're gonna <laughs> kill an He's island. Been of... talking to his girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it plural? Yeah, he's got a harem. Yeah. He's got a hair in his ass. Oh, he's got a hair in his butt. Got a hair. He's got a hair, <laughs> he's got a hair, he's got a hair got problem. A, he's got heroin. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't fucking doubt it. I wouldn't doubt Mr. Beast has a fucking thousand pound warehouse. <laughs> a thousand pound warehouse? <laughs> That's oh, it. It's just light. empty. Yeah. A new TLC show. <laughs> he's got a shed That's, in his backyard. That is not a heavy at all. A thousand pound warehouse. <laughs> That's very, very light. I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> if that bigot doesn't have a shed in his backyard. <laughs> We're gonna go in and we're gonna twist the head off the dragonflies. <laughs> Why is it Steve Irwin now? <laughs> who else could do it? People who think the sun is not their friend. <laughs> it's not, bro. People who eat Stare suntan at the lotion. Sun. We're just talking about that guy from Benchwarmers now. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was thinking of. You were thinking What's his name? Melt um, Flesh Guy. Dale. <laughs> Dale, the guy who eats the sun. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, Dale Billingsworth, the sun eater. <laughs> the sun eater. That sounds hardcore. <laughs> well, it's like the most lame wild boss, boss ever. Yeah, <laughs> you walk into a Dark Souls arena, Dale the sun eater. Dale Billingsworth. <laughs> eater of suns. Eater of universes. <laughs> I prefer Dale too much vitamin D. Mm. Can you? I feel like it's water soluble. I feel like you can't overdose on vitamin D. Dale the water soluble. Vitamin what the fuck are soluble. we talking about, dude? <laughs> Why do you we guys should have been chemists, not fucking funny moments YouTubers. <laughs>
You guys are so knowledgeable and cool and full of vitamin yeah, D. Use that one of your use that intro clip right there. Knowledge about vitamin D. I do believe you can D&C. take a f- eight thousand percent of B twelve up the ass. I think you can do that. Actually, it's B six. <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> I don't even understand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go drink some mosquito eggs and become a host. He's hosting the mosquitoes for dinner. Egg yes. Post migration when I shit the mosquito eggs out and flush them to someone else to eat. <laughs> oh my god, that is <laughs> so dumb. Did you guys hear about that woman who had a like a? <laughs> she- <laughs> I did not hear about that lady at all. The woman who exploded. <laughs> she burbed herself to death. Every side, you just fart? Stay cool back inside. I heard a little fart. Whose little fart was that? It's possible that you heard a little fart. <laughs> Did you have a little fart? It's possible, it's possible I had a little fart. I love your little farts. It's possible I might have several more on the way, for I have eaten food. I love your little toots. Your little I just, toots. I just imagine like a little train station inside of you where just farts just be constantly it's running. It's more like a there. factory. I got little wage slaves pumping out gas. I want to hear you gas. fucking lay a monster, dude. Do you ever just bellow out a fucking beefer? I can yeah, say, I oh need, yeah. I need to I hear a up. big old. <laughs> <laughs> Bellow out a <of> beefer. <laughs> Beef Bellington. Out my ass. Rose on the ghost tour. <laughs> Beef Bellington. <laughs> I got a dick like Rosa Parks. I like pulling it out on the back of the bus. <laughs> I get the back of the, the bus part by pulling it out. <laughs> yeah, what was she pulling out? Yeah. Her Ticonderosa number two pencil. Is yeah. that a pencil brand? Why do you even know Ticonderosa. a pencil brand? Ticonderosa. Something. Ticonderosa. Is this I don't know. video sponsored by Graphite Pencil <laughs> Ticonderosa? What the yeah. fuck are you saying? <laughs> my Discord. Ty- uh, hold on. <laughs> you have no fun facts in your brain. You just know pencil brands. Ticonderosa. <laughs> A big pencil shill. Ticonderoga. Dude, what are you what saying? Are you well, thank God we got it right. Thank God. <laughs> it's like, it's like Dude, the Ticonderoga. people watching this, we're about to leave some angry yeah, comments. Yeah, thank God. Quick <laughs> <laughs> Ticonderosa <laughs> number two fans are going to leave a hate comment. <laughs> hey, so I'm using HB3 so from now on. Stupid. I'm tired of that. You're the one looking up pencils, bro. <laughs> bro, Ticonderosa's, you know. Stop. You saying it isn't making it any better. It's just, you're still saying <laughs> it. Ticonderosa right. It's not really uh, up to date on my pencil lore. Why is it called that? It sounds like Joe. Joe Rogan, if he was like back in the 1600s. Ticonderoga. <laughs> if y'all ever smoke Ticonderoga, that shit will blast you into <laughs> yeah. outer space. Smoking that Ticonderoga pack. Pack of pencils. Pencil pack. <laughs> I'm smoking graphite and wood. Whenever I was a small wee little lad, there was a shirt at the store that had like an outline of a monkey, and the shirt said, Touch my monkey. And <laughs> what the hell? For my, a kid? <laughs> no, it wasn't for a kid, but I thought it was a great shirt, and my mom would let me buy it. <laughs> Touch yeah, my she, was, she was it's preventing you from best. a lifetime of trauma, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good mom. One shirt would have changed the course of your life forever. You wouldn't even be here right now. I mean, no, I mean, you wouldn't be dead. You wouldn't be here right now. Yeah, I'm like the kid from Family Guy. It's like, this is why you keep getting molested. <laughs> <laughs> my prime king, 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 demographic king, king. for my music listeners usually is an ogre. 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 You gotta get your music out to the swamps and under the bridges more. I feel like music oh, what? makes us for ogres. Wow, dude. What would a song toxic. for ogres be about? Pillage. Sludge. Sludge. Leg. Mud. Yum. <laughs> Blend it right in. That's pretty good. I'm gonna write that down. Eat leg mud. <laughs> no, that's metal as fuck. <laughs> so I love leg mud. Is that like Eat. pray, love, leg. live, laugh, love for I ogre? I roga number two. <laughs> it's a mud leg. Editor, make yeah, me what, an <laughs> eat mud leg sign for my house. <laughs> that's what ogres have. Make me a nice t-shirt. <laughs> they have that hung up in their shack. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of live, laugh, love. love.